I made cookies yesterday. I packed some for my herbalist with a cute little note. Moment of silence. Several moments of silence, in fact. It's a whole dish that I could eat. These mushrooms look so good. Um, what the hell? I'm excited for my evening. <laughs> it's turbulent, we know this. It's up and down, we know this. I'm just trying to not let my emotions also go up and down with my skin. This is the last piece that I've finished. I'm trying to just like be positive, but I just feel a bit like, <sighs> here we go again, you know? It's in your power to shift your energy even though it feels like the hardest thing in the world when you're in it. Only you can pull yourself out of it and it's always possible. <sighs> I'm so happy. We say guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another healing diary. So today I am heading to see Laura, my herbalist, just to collect my meds. So if you guys, if you guys know the latest, you'll know that I haven't been on my herbal treatments for about, I actually think it might be longer than a month to be honest, because there was this issue with like getting it and stuff. Anyway, long story short, today I'm finally getting it back. I've also run out of my cream, which is this new cream that I've been on for the last few days and I'm obsessed with the results. But anyway, if you wanna know about that, check out the last video. So my dad is actually picking me up and we're gonna drive there just so I avoid any exposure to irritants and allergens on public transport etc so we're gonna head there now the plan was we were gonna go there and then we were gonna go for dinner after but the time has literally just changed and now we have to go pick up the meds later than we were going to i don't know what the plan is but i'm gonna bring you so let's let's see what happens oh my god also i nearly forgot to tell you if you guys again have watched the last vlog then you'll know i made cookies yesterday and I packed some for my herbalist with a cute little note. How cute am I, though? How cute is that? But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna take her the cookies. It's gonna be great. I'll get my meds, I'm so excited. Also, look, can we just take a minute, please? Moment of silence. Several moments of silence, in fact, because what, what? what what who is she she is back she's coming back i'm so just oh my gosh so i ended last week's vlog this morning like this is the same day hey hello and i literally just got back from the gym i showered i've just finished my skincare and this is how we're looking immediately after the gym i always have way less redness way less inflammation and oh my gosh it's just ah, i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy also if you don't know, I'm a crystal girly. I, I haven't worn these in ages and I was like, you know what? Like, I should be getting all the healing crystals that I can right now. And I know that clear quartz is supposed to be really good. I don't have it in a bracelet, but I have it as a natural stone. So it's in my handbag. So these are the ones I selected for the day. And also because it's not metal, it's not gonna irritate my skin. So it's kind of perfect. That's the vibe for today. Also, I just started my period, but we've got places to go, people to see. So I've made a hot water bottle for the journey. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? You just gotta firm it. Guys, how cute is this backdrop right now? So I'm with my dad. We are in King's Cross and we've just sat down at this restaurant and it's so cute. Look at the spread right now. This is the vibes. I mean, I can't have the bread, but the olives are looking great. <laughs> and we have more food coming, but how cute is this? Also, it feels so weird, like, vlogging kind of normally when everything has been not very normal. Also, I have my hot water bottle. <laughs> and it low-key matches the fit. Guys, look. It's a whole dish that I could eat. How crazy is this? Shame you can't smell it. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, it does smell good, doesn't As it? As in the video. People. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give you guys a taste test. I have my um, light in here, but I've decided not to make a scene today. <laughs> also, these olives are so good. Mm. Yeah, the Have you tried? One. Mm, I did. Yeah. Little ones. The little one. Onion. Cheers. Oh, that's a good idea. Is it good? Wow, that's nice. Mm. That's really nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We've just found a restaurant. I'm going to take you to that caravan place. Yeah, let's try that. 
Guys, look how cute this is. The chef made me this like custom because I just couldn't have much from the menu other than this. How cute is that? There's mushrooms and green beans. Okay, let's give it a taste test. These mushrooms look so good. Ooh. Nice. That's nice. Oh yeah. Try the mushrooms. Mm. No. Very good. I love the beans. Mm. Oh my gosh. I need to come back here. And they even told me everything that was in it. Like olive oil, lemon juice, like every... They took it really personally, didn't they? Yeah. And I appreciate that so much because I've gone to restaurants and I've mentioned things. They're like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I'm like, wait, wait, but can you please just tell me everything yeah. that's in it? Because if you put like a dash of sugar or a dash of a sauce which yeah. has a preservative in it... Just a little it, bit of tomato so what? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely giving it 9 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Location, lovely. Mm -hmm. Service, brilliant. Food, what? <laughs> You're such a natural. I got it! I got it, I got it, I got it. And how cute, it's got my name on it. We have my herbs and my cream. I'm so gassed to be back on this. Oh, I'm so happy. So there ended up being a few like logistical problems or whatever. So I didn't end up actually seeing Laura in person. She left the bag with reception for me. So I just collected it and stuff and I gave reception the cookies, but she wasn't going to be in for another week. So I was like, you guys just eat it. <laughs> like you guys have it, it's fine. But yeah, so um, what the hell? So I'm gonna actually be having an appointment with Laura in probably the next couple of weeks. We're gonna work on like arranging it. So let's see what happens during that appointment and if we change things in the prescription. But for now, I have like two weeks of the same herbs that I was on before. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Also, that restaurant experience was so cute. Like it was so cute. It was so nice to have like a piece of normal life. Like that was the most normal restaurant experience that I've had since being on all of this and it just felt so 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 nice like it was just the best I can't wait to go back there it was so lovely and I just had such a great day I had such a great day anyway the skin is looking great um yeah we're looking good everything is looking good this was today was the most outside exposure that I've had since just restricting how much I've been in outside air because obviously it's not pollen season anymore I even tried to look up the pollen count today and it's not they're not even giving a forecast anymore because they're like it's not pollen season so i was like okay just go less like i've been feeling fine um in you know outside air the last few days so i was like let's just do it so today i was basically outside all day so let's see how we are tomorrow but like again a little bit more normality that we tested out today and i'm sure i'm going to be fine tomorrow but that will just give me peace of mind to know okay tried and tested we know it's fine so I'm really happy and I'll of course update you on it tomorrow. I've, as you can tell, got ready for bed. I'm just gonna do my creams now and start winding down. See you guys soon. We have some redness today that I didn't really expect. Although can you really expect anything when you're on a healing journey because it's not linear. But yeah, we've got some redness just here and here nowhere else it's obviously not bad it's not extreme again i'm just probably trying to work out what it was but i think it was simply just being outside around people around different air that isn't you know my home air so naturally there's going to be other things kind of floating around potential irritants you know just particles of that floating in the air fragrances of people walking past so I'm going to put it down to that. I just don't think pollen is to do with it because I don't think that's a thing anymore. I think it's just from like living life, like a standard <laughs> a standard thing. So I'm, I'm just not really reading into it too much. I'm also very confident that this will go away within a day or two. Obviously slightly disheartened whenever you see something like that, but I still feel like we're looking great. And I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of the progress we're making. So... It's all good. Today I have acupuncture, so I've put some oil in my hair and I'm gonna go acupuncture and then straight to the gym afterwards. That is the plan. Oh my days, what a busy day it has been. Like, it's been so 
busy, but it's actually kind of exciting because it makes me feel like it's normal life. So, I had my acupuncture appointment, as I told you guys, and it went really well. There's nothing like groundbreaking really to report about it. I hadn't been in three weeks, which I, I didn't realize it had been that long, but it hadn't, I hadn't been there for three weeks. And it's really weird because I had this feeling all week about like my stomach not quite feeling right. It's weird, nothing obvious, like I didn't have a stomach ache or like literally nothing bait like that, but I just had this feeling that something was slightly off. And I was thinking, okay, maybe this is something to do with my gut. Like, okay, I don't know. And then I was a little bit bloated for the week. And I was like, that's strange because nothing has changed in my diet. I'm obviously eating like foods that I know my body likes, that I know are, are good for me and they shouldn't really be causing me bloating unless I'm, I'm, I'm wrong about that but in my mind i was like i shouldn't really be this bloated and then i was like okay maybe it's just my period because i literally started yesterday so i was premenstrual so i was like okay maybe maybe that's what it was i don't recall being bloated when i've been premenstrual before but i was like you know what who knows so just as standard i blamed it on my menstrual cycle but anyway and it's weird because when i went for my appointment he was like there's something going on like in your stomach like there's there's something not quite right and i was like i've been feeling this for a week so yeah basically long story short we kind of focused on on that and just like you know just general balance and overall maintenance of my body so anything that he would have felt was kind of out of sync we recalibrated i guess then after that i went straight to the gym because i'm on my grind i'm on this shit <laughs> and that was great and then i came home had lunch had a shower washed my hair got ready and we out here now i'm going out for my little social motive of the week my battery is flashing red so that's not great but yeah that's kind of the vibes i'm excited for my evening <laughs> I am so tired today on my days. I feel like you can tell from my voice. I just woke up, my phone died and I didn't wake up with my alarm or anything. But I think that was for the best. I had such a busy day yesterday as I told you guys. So I am definitely taking this as a rest day. Like 1000%. I'm gonna have like a cozy but productive day, you know? Like get really like cozy under a duvet, put a film on and then do editing or whatever I wanna do in the back. I also felt yesterday like I really needed some more quality time with myself. I think it's cause I was rushing all day but I really felt like I was in need of some kind of like me time so i'm gonna make sure i prioritize that today there's a few things on my list that i want to get done but that is like the thing that i plan on really making time for today so i'm gonna do some art those of you guys that don't know get to know it's my favorite thing in the world so i'm gonna do some drawing some art have some like winding down time and i'm really looking forward to it really looking forward to it the skin is i mean right now it's really bright that's actually a bit better you can see a bit more um there's some redness um there was obviously some redness yesterday it's not like significantly more but last night like as the evening kind of evolved i noticed like this part just like up here which is just really weird because it wasn't there before it was just this part and this part has become more like wounded it's I don't know. Another thing I'm going to do today is not focus on it, not pay attention to it. I'm just going to do my creams and stuff and my sprays and I know it's going to heal. Like the fact that this is a bad day is just such a win. Such a win. So yeah, I'm going to just do my skincare and then just put it out of my mind and just like concentrate on having a good day and feeling good. I have been in a bit of a kind of off mood for the last two days. Yesterday I literally just like vegged out, like I did the art that I said I was gonna do. I just like rested and it felt like exactly what I needed. But like all day I just kind of wasn't really in the best mood. Like I just felt a bit meh, but I just tried not to pay attention to it. And today I've kind of been feeling in a similar mood. It is Saturday so I was like okay well it's my weekend anyway, so I, I'm I'm cool to just kind of take it a little bit easy. I'm I wouldn't I won't be mad if it's like oh, I you know I haven't been the most productive or whatever because I'm trying to have some distinction between my weekends and my weekdays anyway. So I've had like a list of things to do, like you know like the kind of things that you just don't really get to on your list. Again, just been feeling, eh, like not a, not in a bad mood, but also not normal and not totally great either. Just like you know and then 
I just kind of got a bit of a trigger. It just kind of made me sort of snap into like I guess releasing everything that was probably being built up and I just like started crying and I just couldn't stop crying and then as soon as I was kind of over what I had been crying about then I started panicking like oh my god what is this gonna do to my skin now like is my skin gonna be okay and then that made me want to cry again <laughs> I've calmed down and now I just have, you know that like exhaustion you get after you've had like a breakdown? Like after you've just cried so much, you know when you just get so like exhausted, kind of tired? That's how I feel right now. I've got like a couple of splits, like my earlobe here, like it's split there and I'm like, this is because I wasn't moisturising enough and I should have known, like, I should have been using the thick epiderm ointment. Anyway, I've, I've learnt my lesson now, so, like, it's fine. I've, at the moment, I've got epiderm on because my face was just so dry and especially after I cried, I was like, I feel like I've cried off all my moisturiser anyway. So, I actually just fell asleep for about 40 minutes on the sofa. I'm really forcing myself to go to the gym i didn't go yesterday and i was thinking i wonder if this is the reason for my low mood because that was the one day that i didn't go so i was like i have to go today i know it's gonna make me feel better and it also really helps my skin so all the more reason after crying i was like i need to go but now i'm so tired like if you just let me sit here for long enough i would just fall right asleep <sighs> We're gonna force it, we're gonna force it. Once I come back and shower and do all of that, like I can rest a little bit, but I do have to go. So that's what we're doing right now. My skin has been still red, like how I told you after my busy day and stuff, like the, that redness. It's reduced, it's not gone away, but it's reduced. It's looking great in the camera right now. In person, you can see it a little bit more, but I know that gym is just gonna help it so much more. And I'm just telling myself that whether the crying has made things worse or not, it doesn't matter because in the next few days as I keep up with my routine and I gym and you know I concentrate on managing my emotions more efficiently and everything then my skin will go back to being fine like it's it's turbulent we know this it's up and down we know this I'm just trying to not let my emotions also go up and down with my skin I feel like I sit here and I say this in every goddamn video but it is a constant struggle and it is so much easier said than done and the fact that this is a bad skin day at the moment how far have we come like that is bloody insane in the best way so let's concentrate on the good let's feel good Let's be grateful for the fact that we know what we can do, which is in our control that will help, like gym, moisturising, managing emotions, eating well, having my supplements. There's so many things that I know are in my control. So let's just keep going with that, do what we can, and things will improve and everything is going to be fine in time. I just need to be patient, I need to be trusting, I need to be consistent, which I am, and everything will be fine. And it is fine, already. I feel better already after giving that little pep talk to myself <sighs> we've got this we're gonna go to the gym i'm not gonna push it as long as i sweat i feel like i've really sweated then i'll come home like then i'll be happy oh my god i feel so much better <laughs> my bun is like falling apart i've just got back i was gone for a while actually i did like 45 50 minutes of fast walking and then i did stretching and then i came home I think this looks less red than when I left. I think. I haven't showered yet. So we'll see how the skin is once I shower and redo my skincare. But I feel so much better. And I knew I would. I feel so much better. I feel like myself again. I've got some energy back. I'm pretty sure once I shower it's going to hit me. Like I'm going to be like, oh my god, I'm so tired. I feel good. And I, I might do some drawing tonight. I have decided to start a new like art journal. So something less serious, like normally every time I do art, I do like realism, I'll do like a portrait or I'll do still life or I'll do something like really, really intricate. Like this is the last piece that I've finished and it was like a piece that I was like working on slowly, slowly because it's so intricate. It would obviously take a long time to work on it. But I was like, I want to do something which has like less pressure, more like like a mix of different styles, different, you know, like and no pressure, not like one big piece. But like loads of little things, even like things that maybe feel like a doodle but then make them more into like a proper illustration. So anyway, that's what I started working on yesterday. But I, 
I was thinking about it and I was like, let me like make the front cover look really cute and like customized. So that's what I was working on yesterday. I haven't finished, but I've been making like little illustrations, like just cute, like little doodly illustrations. And I'm gonna arrange them out on my journal and stick them down and stuff. So I'm still gonna draw some more little things and add them just like random stuff and it's just so much fun this is the kind of thing that i literally grew up doing like i would spend every minute that i wasn't doing homework or whatever when i was younger any minute i was doing stuff like this i was drawing i mean always like you literally would not see me without a pen and paper in my hand or my sketchbook in my arms like at school it was literally joint to me like i'd be carrying my sketchbook everywhere with me during my lunch breaks and everything after school i would go into the art rooms and i'd just draw like i just put my earphones in and draw you know i think since growing up it's like now when i draw it's like okay I let, it's like serious art you know like serious art and somewhere along the way my perfectionism kind of just interfered with my art and it became a thing of like I would end up not creating because I know I ne need to have the concentration, I need to have the mental energy, I need to have the time, I need to have the, the space, I need to have everything ready to do like a serious piece of work and spend like hours on it and really be concentrating because I'd be doing, you know, a lot of very technical work. And I was like, you know what, like, what about all the years that I spent with all my time just doing like fun art? It's like you know what like why am i not doing that now and one of the people closest to me made me realize that was like you need to just fall in love with it again you need to do the fun stuff and then you can work your way up to like the serious stuff again so that at least you're doing it more often because at the moment i'm just not drawing as much as i would like to be and it's my favorite thing in the world so why am i not doing it every day do more of what provides you joy do more of what you love like why am i not practicing that yeah long story short that's what this journal is going to be it's going to be like a no pressure fun creative mixed media type of illustration book and i'm really excited <laughs> so anyway that's my update i just feel a lot more like myself so i wanted to give you the good news i'm feeling kind of low again guys definitely woke up with less dryness on my face so that's great the redness just seems to be coming back obviously i've got the hypochlorous acid sprays i don't know it doesn't seem to be doing what it needs to do with the redness it's still kind of coming through i'm trying to just like be positive but <clears throat> as you can see we have redness and it's just bumming me out a little bit really and i've just woken up it's quite early and i'm trying to not let this set the tone for the day but i just feel a bit like <sighs> here we go again you know? <sighs> okay, it's been about 10 minutes. I've moisturized my face and everything. Have I got some cream? I do. Let's just, let's just ignore that. And I just thought, you know what? Like, I need to switch this around. I need to change my energy. So let's, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna just spit fire some little gratitude lines that come to my head as they come to my head. Normally, <clears throat> I would journal it, but I thought, you know what, let me just, like, as soon as they come to me, I'm just going to speak it out loud to you. So, I'm going to think of things that I'm so grateful for, specific to this journey with where we're at in this journey. I'm going to remind myself of, of things that I no longer am struggling with, because we've kind of, like, passed that point in my healing, just to remind myself and put it in perspective, like, you are in such a privileged position. I just want to remind myself of that. So... One, I can still sleep through the night and I don't have that crazy dreaded itch in the night keeping me up and that insomnia. Actually, that's two. I don't have the insomnia and I don't have that crazy itch anymore. I don't have weepy broken skin, which is absolutely huge. I don't have a skin infection and I'm not, you know, having to be on antibiotics or anything that I would prefer not to be on which is so, so, so good because we've been bitten by that a few times. My eyes aren't swollen. They're not swollen. They're looking great. Um, the redness isn't as red and intense and sore as it could be. Um, I'm able to shower every day again, which makes me feel just so much better, like physically, like clean and just 
good in myself. I'm able to gym every day as well, which means I'm also able to leave the house every day now. Are they all the things that I used to struggle with that I don't anymore? I also don't have a reaction today. Like, of course, there's there's redness, there's like the skin is fluctuating, but I don't have a reaction. I haven't reacted to something. My, you know, immune response hasn't gone crazy about anything, which is great. My neck, my neck is looking great. My neck and chest is looking amazing. My skin is a lot more hydrated compared to how it was over the last few days, which I know, like, give it a few more days, give it some time, I'm sure I'm gonna start noticing the benefits from that. Also, my skin always looks its worst at this point in the day, when I've just woken up and just moisturized. That is it. Well, and also when I do the same thing after my shower later, but this is, I think, when it's gonna be one of the worst during the day, so I'm grateful that I know it's only gonna improve as the day goes on. And also, this is a generic one, this is one that I've kept reinforcing throughout my healing journey, but I'm really, really, really privileged to have the time and the space to heal without a nine to five that is also weighing on me and restricting me. I have freedom with my work, which just is such a blessing for this time. And not a lot of people will be able to say that. And also, I'm in a position right now that I have dreamed of being in. There have been much, 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 much worse points in our journey. Or harder points in our journey. And I would have been praying then. Praying so hard to look like this and be in this situation now. And now that I'm here, I don't want to keep thinking about the grass could be greener, the grass could be greener. I want to think, look how green this grass is though and it was not this green before <sighs> we're good everything is good everything is good we are going to turn this around this is your sign if you relate it to how i've been feeling in the last couple clips and you just feel a bit shit, a bit down about your current situation this is your sign we're going to change our energy we're going to switch it around so, I am getting ready to go to the gym. I'm gonna just do my usual workout, just get blood flowing. That is my priority when I go to the gym. I'm not thinking about, you know, my overall body goals or vanity or anything to do with that. I'm just thinking, what is gonna be the best for getting the energy and the blood flow moving in my body? And that's what I'm gonna do. So. I have some work that I need to get done today as well, like editing wise. So my plan is I'm gonna do some of the prep work for my editing whilst I'm at the gym because I'm just gonna do like fast walking for like 45 minutes or so on the treadmill. That makes me really, really sweat and it always makes me just feel so good after. It helps my skin, everything, it's tried and tested. It's not pushing it too far, it's not doing too little. I feel like it's the right balance for me. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do some prep work whilst I'm there. I'm gonna lift my mood, I'm gonna get my blood flowing, I'm gonna be feeling good, I'm gonna reduce the redness while I'm there, which side note has already started to reduce because like I said, it's always worse in the mornings and as the day goes on, it just improves. Oh my God, I've not taken my fexfenadine today, I just remembered. So that's the plan. So we're gonna switch this around guys, we're gonna shift our energy, we're gonna shift it, we're gonna shift it to where we want it to be. So I'm gonna go do that and I will be seeing you with my shifted energy very soon. I haven't showered yet because I wanted to show you the skin immediately after sweating. Is it just me or is this like radically better than when I left? Although I didn't actually show you it properly just before I left because it had calmed down since the morning but can we just deep compare to this morning how much it's calmed? This is nuts. This is, this is, this is a blessing. This is nuts. <sighs> I'm so happy. I wanted to just bring you this piece of good news. Take this as your sign to move your body today. If you're feeling low, if you're feeling like defeated by anything right now, it's in your power to shift your energy even though it feels like the hardest thing in the world when you're in it. Only you can pull yourself out of it and it's always possible. Even though I know when you're in it, you hate to be told that, but it's true. And you've got this, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this.